Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making creamy Instant Pot mashed potatoes. You're not gonna wanna miss this. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSistersStuff.com. We love sharing simple, easy recipes that anyone can make. These creamy Instant Pot mashed potatoes are the perfect side dish for so many different things. Now, if you're thinking a little bit ahead and thinking about Thanksgiving, if you don't have an Instant Pot during Thanksgiving, trust me, you're gonna want one. Cooking your potatoes in the Instant Pot are quick and easy and they turn out perfect every time. Now I'm sharing an Instant Pot recipe every single Monday, so make sure you push the subscribe button and of course the little bell so you can get the notifications every time I post to YouTube. All right you guys, let's go into my kitchen and make these delicious Instant Pot creamy mashed potatoes. All right, so my first secret of making the best creamy mashed potatoes is that you have to use russet potatoes. Now these potatoes have a lot of starch in them. The more starch you have, the creamier they're gonna be. So I'm just chopping into small pieces, or I guess bite-sized pieces, my russet potatoes, and I'm chopping about eight of them. If you have a lot of guests, you can get about 12 potatoes in there that will fit in the six quart Instant Pot. All right, I'm adding one cup of water over my potatoes. The lid is going on, make sure that it's sealed tight. Then you're gonna put the little knob to sealing, not venting. Push the manual button, that's my favorite button. And because the potatoes are chopped, you're going all the way up to 10 minutes. Now when your timer's over, that little L will appear on the Instant Pot. That means you can switch your knob over for a quick release or you can let it just release on its own. It will take about 20 minutes. Okay, my pressure has released. I'm gonna turn the lid and take it off. Now, there are a lot of recipes where you leave the liquid in, but I'm going to dump this liquid out because I wanna add milk and just my own ingredients. Okay, so now you're gonna add three tablespoons of butter right on top of your potatoes. Now, the trick is make sure your potatoes are still hot. Next, you're gonna add anywhere from a fourth to a half cup of sour cream, and then one fourth cup of milk. Now it's time to season the potatoes. Now you can add more or less of whatever you want, but I like to add a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of pepper, and a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Now if you don't have any gravy to go on top of this, I would suggest adding a little more salt. But if you're using gravy, no need to. All right, so now I love to use my beaters and mix it. The trick is to mix it and make it cream together while the potatoes are still really hot. Now make sure you scrape the edges while you mix so you'll be able to get all the seasoning that's flown on the side or if there's any chunks stuck on the sides. Then just mix it one more time to make sure it's really creamy. Now I like to add a little bit of parsley on top, maybe a little cube of butter just so you serve it, it will look Beautiful. Now I like to leave my skins on my potatoes because the Instant Pot makes them so soft, but you can also peel those if you don't like the skins. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye.